You and I worked together on Every Student Succeeds Act. We reached an agreement that gives states flexibility while including some clear requirements for states in the statute. The requirements are in black and white, they're in the law, and have nothing to do with regulations. And I am deeply troubled that violations of the law are being ignored by the Department of Education. I want to give you an example. The law requires in statute that states identify three distinct categories of schools for improvement. Bottom 5% of schools, all schools where one subgroup of students is consistently underperforming, and schools where any subgroup is performing as per poorly as the bottom 5%. But plans are now being approved that violate this. That was Senator Patty Murray, top Democrat on the Senate Education Committee, expressing frustration with the U.S. Department of Education's approval of state plans that fail to comply with the Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA. Hello, and welcome back to Federal Flash. I'm Nikki McKinney, and I'm joined by Jason Amos. We'll cover that hearing and the department's review of state plans, update you on efforts to reform the tax code, and give you a sneak peek into the GOP plan to reauthorize the Higher Education Act. Let's turn to Jason for more on the hearing. Thanks, Nikki. It's good to be here with you. Tuesday's hearing focused on simplifying the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, but Murray used her bully pulpit to call out the department for, quote, blatantly violating, end quote, ESSA. She argued that the committee needs to, quote, hear from the secretary directly about how she intends to follow the law, end quote. In other news, the department announced it approved Michigan's ESSA plan. Michigan was among the 16 states in the District of Columbia that submitted plans last spring. It's one of the last state plans from that batch to get approved. Colorado is still waiting. Thanks, Jason. The Senate GOP tax reform package cleared an important hurdle on Tuesday when it was advanced out of the Senate Budget Committee on a party line vote. The measure is now being debated on the Senate floor, where Republicans are hoping for a legislative victory before the Christmas holiday. But as we've previously reported, there are significant differences between the Senate and House proposals. And if the Senate bill passes, legislation reconciling those differences will have to be written and passed again by both chambers. This is a lofty goal, given that funding for the federal government expires on December 8th, and Congress hasn't shown it can walk and chew gum at the same time. In other news, Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives this week introduced a bill to reauthorize the Higher Education Act. The Promoting Real Opportunity, Success, and Prosperity Through Education Reform, or PROSPER, Act would, among other things, simplify the FAFSA form and cap the amount that students may borrow, end a loan forgiveness program for public servants who have made payments on their loans for 10 years, and expand job training and apprenticeship opportunities. The bill will be debated and will likely look significantly different from the original version. Lamar Alexander, chair of the Senate Education Committee, recently announced that the committee's first order of business after the new year would be to mark up its own version of the legislation. And finally, mark your calendars for December 5th at 10 a.m. That's when the Senate Education Committee will hold a confirmation hearing for two top education department posts overseeing civil rights and special education. Kenneth Marcus, who was nominated for Assistant Secretary for Civil Rights, and Johnny Collette, nominated to be Assistant Secretary for Special Education and Rehabilitative Services, will testify before the committee. Use the link below for more information and to view the hearing. That's all for now. For an alert when the next episode of Federal Flash is available, email us at alliance at allfored.org. Thanks for watching. Federal Flash is the Alliance for Excellent Education's video series on important developments in education policy in Washington, D.C. in five minutes or less.